Easy peeps, welcome to episode two of Road to Glory World Cup Edition. Woo, yeah baby. Now, what we like to do is we want to try some new players and test some players so that we know who we're going to have in our final squad. So there's no better way to do that than to do an online draft. So that is what we're going to do. New graphics everywhere for the World Cup mode. Looks absolutely beautiful. Welcome to FIFA Ultimate Draft. Build your squad. Go on a four-game winning streak. And we'll hopefully see what the rewards are like. Hopefully they're pretty decent. So that's not bad at all. We enter draft mode. We've got a choice of 4, 3, 1, 2, 5, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, flat. 4-4-2 holding or 4-5-1 attack. So, we go with that and we get these as our captain. Not a bad choice. We get Modric, Okocha, Ozil, Messi or Carrasco. We are going to go with JJ. So good they named him twice. So, Okocha goes in to our 4-3-1-2 formation as our cam. Next up, first striker. Oh, we got Aguero. Oh, we've got to go with Henri, man. We have to go with Henri. That's two World Cup icons out of two. Let's go for a hat trick, baby. Next striker. Come on. Come on. Oh, we get another one. Not bad. Look at Sturridge. Sturridge has been done dirty, man. Uh, Hernandez. So we've got three strikers, cams, wherever you want to play them. Three icons into the team. Next up. We got a choice of Nangolan. Modric is back again, but we're going to give Nangolan a go. And obviously, he has been done dirty again on this game, and he won't be going to the World Cup, so his card won't update. So he's it's kind of a pointless card. Next up, we go with Taliso. This card does look decent, however, and he has a hunter on him, so that will give him that nice little bit of extra pace. Uh, third centre mid. I desperately want to try Dembele. Modric is back again. <laughs> And so is Rakitic, but we're going to go with Dembele because we're going to go and see if these players are decent that we can use in our own team. We know there's no transfer market, but if we pack them, we, we want to see if they're decent all over, so we might as well try it in draft. We get done a little bit bad on the left back, so we go with the European Confederation theme and we, we, uh, we pick Augustusson. Not bad. Okay. Next up, first centre back. We need somebody pacey now. Oh, we get choice of two icons. We gotta go with Blanc. Blanc is an absolute beast. So we pick Blanc and we now have four icons in the team. And chemistry is looking sweet. Next centre back. Oh, we get done a little bit bad for pace there. So we, we're kind of stuck. We can't use two of those. So we end up going with him. Bit of a bad pace, so hopefully we get somebody good. Uh, right back position, we're going to go with Perea. Look at those stats, man. He looks absolutely decent. And he has a catalyst on him as well. So we could have gone for Cantelo, but we went for Perea instead. Because I quite like him. He's a decent card on foot. And next up, can we get a European Confederation goalie? We can. And that will sort out chemistry. Not the best goalkeeper, but at least we've got chemistry sorted and then hopefully we get a better goalkeeper along the way so we're already on 100 chem that is absolutely beautiful first sub goalkeeper we do get a better european goalkeeper we've got a choice of olsen sales or eduardo we go with sales just because he's got a little bit of extra speed and diving and everything compared to eduardo and the other one and we put him straight into our starting 11 next up come on can we get somebody big oh okay yeah, not the best, not the best. So we just go with Aguilar just because he's got some better stats in terms of a right back in case we do need him to drop into the centre back position. Uh, next up, again, not very good choice of cards. So we just picked the first one there. Um, probably won't get used. We're going to move on. Hopefully we get a decent card next. Next up. Ooh, okay. Shakiri, Nani. Okay, let um, yeah, see, none of those positions really help our formation. We've got centre mid lockdown, so we go with Tauvin just in case we need that extra bit of pace in midfield. Next up. Oh, again, we don't get very good choices there. So we just end up picking somebody at random because none of these players will end up playing at all. So next up, can we get somebody big? We haven't got a good runner big. Oh, okay, we do good. We get Mata, Jesus or Neymar. You know we have to pick the Nene. It's always going to have to be the Nene, even though the the beast that is Giroud is there as well. So we've got Neymar as a super sub. Next up, 
Callahan, Costa, Jolay. Okay, so I think what we want to try and do here, we want to go with Costa. We, we've used Callahan. Callahan's not the greatest. So we'll go with Costa in case we want to mix up the formation up front. That will allow us to do that because of chemistry. Next up, we're on to the reserves now. We still need a big play. Oh, okay. Now our goalkeeper isn't the best. So we could have gone with Messi for another super sub. But we sacrificed Messi to go with a better goalkeeper in our starting eleven, and we go with Hugo Lloris. That is a that is a bold decision to turn away, reject Messi, reject him. Next up, we get a choice of Lewandowski, Sane, Sterling, Lamar, or Bjornsson. We go with it's it's difficult between Sane and Sterling, but we we've used Sterling a lot, so let's give Sane a blast. He can be another super sub. Next up, Munier, Moutinho, Silva, Alves or Witzel. Right, so not really choices that are going to get into the starting eleven here. So we go with David Silva. Again, in case we just need that little bit of security in midfield in terms of substitutions or stuff like that. Next up, ooh, Ali. Ali's pace isn't great in this World Cup mode. So we go with a returning to FIFA 18 Hulk. What a card. What a man. What a neck. The Hulk he will be on the substitution bench. And finally, we need a better centre-back. So we have to go with Laporte because I think our other centre-backs are what, 55 pace or something. So Laporte goes straight into the starting eleven, Gets us a beautiful, strong link with Lloris as well. And that's not bad. That's This team is looking pretty decent. We'll sort out the substitutions so that we can get um, sort out the subs bench. So we can get Sane on the subs bench. We can get David Silva on the subs bench. We've got Neymar as our super sub. We've got Tauvin as another super sub. So we've got Hulk, Neymar, Costa, Tauvin, Silva, Sane. Decent subs bench and not a bad starting eleven at all. Double strong links at the centre-backs to the goalkeeper. That is absolutely beautiful. And we're going with an 86 rated. Now, all we need is a European... I can't even speak. I'm that good and excited. A European manager and we get one. So, we end up going with Anderson. And that gives us full 100 chem. 86 rated team. What was it? Five icons. And we go into our first game against this team here. He has Nene, Suarez, Messi, Maradona... Marcelo, oh my days, that looks a great team. Same manager as well. So obviously, great minds think alike. So hopefully we can beat this first team. Now you will have seen the video earlier on today. Gameplay is a little bit heavy and draft is usually the worst of the gameplay. And this gameplay was tripe, absolutely tripe. Very laggy, very heavy, very slow. But it still didn't stop this man, Thierry Henry. Let me tell you now, this card is an absolute cheat code. An absolute cheat code. I, I, I can't believe how good this card is. Look at the state. He's making every defender look absolutely not normal. And he gets himself a brace in the first game on the 62nd minute. Absolutely insane, man. He's got great passing. Name, Neymar's on as a sub. He does a nice little one-two in Neymar. Neymar passes it out to JJ. So good they named him twice. And he gets himself a goal and we go 3-0 up in the first game. Great movement from the team. Even in these laggy conditions and this very hard gameplay to play smooth passing football in. We do get a goal against us there on the, 80 sec on the 88th minute. Apologies. But of course we get one back from Nene with a nice little drag back. And we take that one 4 one well played boys on to the next game he has 94 ronaldo messi neymar rui costa what a team man decent decent team but he has he does have minulay as a goalkeeper so hopefully we can expose that because he's not the greatest goalkeeper whatsoever but we have to be a bit frightful of 94 ronaldo straight on three minutes in the man is back again <laughs> honestly he's a cheat code man he is an absolute cheat code. If you can get this card in your team, do it. Absolutely do it. I know you have no choice and, and, and you have no say of whether you can get it. But if, you, if you're lucky enough to get it, praise the Lord. Praise, praise Allah. Praise everybody. Absolutely stunning. He gets himself a brace in the next game as well. Four goals in two games so far for King Thierry Henry. We do get a goal against us there on the 58th minute as he's 94 Ronaldo manages to get one after some shocking defending but we couldn't control the players Henri with a drag back 
gets himself a hat trick in the second game. That's now five goals. What a man, man. What a card. Next up, uh, he's got Quadrado. Is, no, it's not Quadrado. Willian. Willian. It's not Quadrado. It's Willian. Ronaldo. Maradona. Whew. Look at look, look what's happened to Bakayoko. Even his card. Even his card says he's not happy with life. Even his card. Uh, Boateng. No, nice team, man. And uh, Kyle Walker. Unfortunately, in the 15th minute, the uh, Laporte card ends up doing a tackle for us without us even controlling it. And we give away a penalty. And he steps up with his Cristiano Ronaldo. Bangs it down the middle. And we go 1-0 down just before 16 minutes. But we go on the attack. Dembele. Dembele. What a card. Let me tell you. Absolutely superb. Nice finish from Hernandez. Hernandez, we know what Hernandez can do. Not as good as his icon on regular foot, but still not bad at all. Corner short to Omri. Nice little passing around. And then Hernandez gets himself another one. And let me tell you, out of all of these cards I used, the two cards that stood out the most in terms of being absolutely superb were that man there. <laughs> what a finish. Thierry Omri and Moussa Dembele. These two cards were absolutely stunning. A card that did let me down and I didn't really think was the greatest was Nangolan. It wasn't that good. It just wasn't that good. Henri gets himself another one. That's seven goals in three games now. Yeah, Nangolan card wasn't that great. He just felt very sluggish. Yes, that could have been the gameplay. I know the gameplay was heavy, but it just didn't feel great at all. And then Henri gets himself another one, taking it to eight goals in three games. And that's enough for NS, NTS Prodigy to get himself out of here. And we're into the final. He has JJ Okocha as well. So good they named him twice. Hernandez, Ronaldo, Sane, Charisma. Decent team. And he does have Icon, uh, Lev Yashin in goal. So hopefully he's not OP on this mode. He's not very good in regular foot. So hopefully we can uh, expose that a little bit. And the beast Matic locking it down in CDM. So we move into the next game. Henri does a nice little bit of skill, passes it across to Akacha. Beautiful. JJ gets himself a goal in the final. We go 1-0 up just before 10 minutes. On the attack again now, Hernandez dribble, 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 dribble. 14 minutes in because the gameplay is so tough. All you literally have to do is dribble and move about. And if they can't control the defenders, that's enough for them to get out of here. And he quits in the final as we're only 2-0 up. And we've won it. Four games we get. Whoa! Check out that. We get 3,500 coins and a load of text. So I'm guessing that's a pack from each confederation. Let's try and read it. African premium players, North and Central America premium players, a World Cup standard pack, a World Cup premium pack, and then a North and Central American Premium Players Pack. So two North and Central Americans, one Africa, one World Cup Standard, and one World Cup Premium, and 3,500 coins, but the store is down. So we can't even open the packs. We go through all of that in horrendous gameplay, and we can't open the packs. So we have five packs waiting for us, and there's nothing we can do. We can't even get in that way. <laughs> We're trying everything. The story's down for maintenance. So let's finish off the last starter objective, which was to play another match, which of course we've just done. And for that, we receive four squad fitness cards. So that is absolutely superb. And that is all of the starter objectives completed. Not bad at all. And then because you've completed all of the starter objectives, you'll get, you get yourself a nice little other bonus pack, which is a FIFA World Cup standard pack. But of course, we can't open that because the store's down. So now we have six packs waiting for us until the next episode. Nothing we can do. And that is it. I would have loved to have opened the packs for you, but I can't if the store's down. So apologies. Not my fault. Not my fault at all. What are you going to do? But the draft, man, let me tell you, Thierry Henry is an absolute cheat code. Eight goals in four games. Absolutely superb. Moussa Dembele, what a card. Absolutely enjoyed him. If I manage to get him along the way, I will be thrilled. Uh, and Nangolan didn't enjoy whatsoever. Felt very heavy, very sluggish. But honestly, I, I'm going to pray that the 
the packing gods are with me or the SBC packing gods when we do the icon SBC eventually that we get Thierry Henry because that card is absolutely amazing but that is it for another World Cup video Whoo! let me know in the comments below if you are loving this World Cup mode I know there's some thoughts that everybody's got a monster team already but just enjoy the game man enjoy the game and if you can't enjoy this mode, go back onto regular foot and grab yourself a bargain because the market is absolutely tanking. So if you've got yourself some coins, go and pick up somebody. I expect to get team of the season Neymar for £2.50 by the end of the week if everything goes to plan. <laughs> right, that is it. If you have stumbled across the channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Of course, if you're already subscribed, you know what to do by now. Turn those notifications on so that you know when a new video goes live. If you could also follow my Twitch, that would be absolutely superb so that we can get some World Cup streaming going ahead. I obviously need an audience to stream. If nobody's following, they don't know when I go live. Got no audience, so what's the point? So go and give my uh, my Twitch a stream. My Twitch a stream? Yeah, go and stream my, stream my Twitch. <laughs> Shh. Never, never stream anybody's Twitch. Never. I'm telling you that now. Never. Okay? Never. Anyway, that is it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Catch you in a bit.